Hi, my name is Drew Starkey. I play Trevor in Hellraiser. Um, Trevor is somewhat of an ambiguous kind of figure. Uh, he has a lot of odd jobs. Um, currently, though, he's working as an art handler for some pretty shady characters. Um, but he's also romantically involved with uh, our hero, Riley, in the story. And He's the one who ultimately leads Riley to uh, the first configuration, the puzzle box. And then it all, it all goes uh, batshit crazy. Um, I was familiar with the original Hellraiser. Um, I'd seen it when I was probably a little too young. I was about eight or nine, um, fully traumatized by the experience. But the... I, the, the, the imagery still, I mean, it stuck with me for, for years and years. Um, so it was great to, you know, start working on this project and kind of, you know, be allowed to, to revisit those. Um, I love horror. I'm such a fan of horror. Um, and it, it, I, I think especially horror that, that blends genres really well. Um, which, which Hellraiser does. I mean, it's, it's, psychological it's it's a thriller elements of sci-fi um uh slap, it's, it's it's everything at once so um yeah very very happy that we got to be a part of this yeah i mean what what drew me i i'd gotten the audition and i remember getting i didn't even have the full script but i remember you know getting the sides and and i couldn't stop thinking about it it was uh, ben and luke really wrote uh a great story and and David as well and um yeah it was just so fleshed out on the page and so detail oriented you know I think they were really focused on on not so much an origin story but really fleshing out the 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 lore and the and the mythos and you know the kind of the aura around this Hellraiser world um so that that was what was tantalizing it was you know it's not it wasn't so niche it was you know i i, I thought i was going to reach a lot of a lot of people some wide audiences and you know uh i think original fans of the of the movie are are going to find a lot of things in it that they love and then i also think new audiences are gonna are gonna watch it and you know gain a lot from it so and just the people attached to it i mean everybody everybody was attached from the beginning um was incredible. So I was, I was just excited to work with him. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Working with David Bruckner is um, he's, he's incredibly high energy, but patient at the same time. Um, he's so detail oriented. I mean, he, we got to Belgrade, Serbia to shoot the film about a week before uh, the first shoot day. And, you know, he, we took the time for, for that week to, work through the scripts, discuss background. He showed us storyboards and artwork and um, ideas for music and his, his ideas for character. It was like this great gift of a rehearsal time that we got for it. Um, and uh, yeah, he, he, he'll, he'll get down. He will get down in the weeds with you. You know, he's like, he's like, this is what we got. to. This is how we got to do it. Like, um, but, uh, and he's, and he's hilarious. It's, it's funny cause we were shooting during COVID too. So, you know, he has the mask on directing you. Um, so I just remember like his eyes, like watching rehearsal and his eyes going back and forth and be like, great, let's shoot it. Um, but yeah, incredible. It just, just like the biggest, um, he's incredibly intelligent and just cares a lot. Um, we really take the time to to kind of sift through and work through it with you. Yeah, I shooting in I mean shooting in Belgrade was really really incredible. It was such a new I mean I, none of us obviously none of us had been there before. Um so it was this brand new place, uh a little bit of culture shock, but be, like beautiful city. We we all we made it a point to all go out and get some really good food and drink some like really good wine. Um and uh yeah, it was amazing. The people there are incredible. Our crew was so resilient. Like I, I swear, like they were, it would be four in the morning and we'd be, you know, on our fourth day of night shoots and there was just never any complaining. Like they were all just like full steam ahead. Um, yeah, but yeah, but we were, I, as a cast, like we were all in a new place. 
and uh you know trying to trying to like navigate and get around the city and it kind of mirrored our own experience you know with the characters in the movie too it's like we're in this completely different world we're thrown into the situation we know nothing about uh and all we had to kind of lean on was like trusting each other um and and wine we 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 relied on a lot of wine it was really incredible but yeah definitely we'll go back i want to go back to belgrade for sure let's do it